and welcome to today's episode of the Daily Blend. I am your host, AC, and y'all, we got some fun stuff happening in Como this weekend, and I am here to talk to some people about what's happening this weekend. I'm here with Dr. Melita Walker and Dr. Erica Neville, and you all have created TEDx Walnut Street. Tell us a little bit about that event. Well, TEDx Walnut Street is in celebration of Black History Month, and the theme is fostering inclusive communities. So we have invited leaders in the community to come and share with us their ideas about what it means to have an inclusive community. Can you give us a sneak peek of who we might hear at the event? Sure, sure. So we have Mayor Barbara Buffalo, who is going to join us. We also have uh, law professor S. Uh, David Mitchell, who is yes. going to join us. Valerie Berta is going to join us uh, with the WE Project. Yes. Um, and some other local artists and uh, community activists and leaders in, around the community. I've seen lots of excitement online as people have um, found out that they will be speaking. Yes. So there's lots of excitement happening about this. So tell me where this idea came from. What what brought this what brought this event on? I'll, Dr. Walker is the TEDx guru. Mm -hmm. So she's been doing this since she was an assistant principal over at Battle High School. And when she talked to me about the opportunity of bringing it to the community and she said, Erica, we do some work together. And she said, I think we can make this happen. I'm like, I'm here to learn. So I am learning so much about the entire process, about what it means to bring speakers together, about the talk itself. Yes. Um, it's just, it, I'm excited to see what this is going to do for our local community. We've all seen clips of TED Talks and, you know, they've been all the rage for quite a lot of years now, but it, there is a process, right? Oh, absolutely. So um, this is an official TEDx event. You have to have an official license in order to um, put on an event. Um, there is a timeline. Obviously, the talks are curated, so yes. we want to work uh, very closely with our speakers. Um, we've met with the speakers. Um, they've submitted their talks to us. We've given feedback. We'll have a full rehearsal. So it is a process. So it's not just, you know, you invite people to come in and yes. then they talk off the flag. No, these are curated talks around a specific issue. And again, we're going to explore the idea of fostering inclusive communities. Very, very important topic. So timely for the times we're living in and the month that we are in. Yes. I appreciate you ladies putting this together. And I am looking forward to being at the event, emceeing the event. Yes. Oh, yeah. And I get to hear all the speakers. I'm very excited. Before we are done, give us the details of the event, when, where, and what's happening after the event. Uh, our event is on February the 24th. It is at the Blue Note. Um, it starts at 6 o'clock. The speakers will go from 6 until 10. Um, and then at 10 o'clock, we have a concert by J.R. Tease. Ooh, a local favorite. A local favorite. Local so we're really favorite. excited about that. And on the screen, you should see how you are able to purchase tickets because there are still tickets available. Tickets yes. on sale. Will you sell tickets at the door? Uh, well, n yes, we okay. will sell tickets at the door and all the proceeds go to uh, BOLD, the BOLD uh, Academy, which uh, stands for Brown and Black Opportunities for Leadership Development. It is a, a nonprofit that I, along with my co-founder, Crystal Graves, founded for young girls of color uh, between the ages of 12 and 17. Um, we provide provide um, leadership opportunities and development. We've opened a 529 college savings account for every girl. Yes. Um, and this is going to be our one big fundraiser for the year. So all proceeds will benefit both. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And we look forward to seeing you at TEDx Walnut Street. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. So joining us now to talk about more events coming up on the 24th are Mary Ratliff and Marilyn McLeod from When She Votes. Hi, ladies. Welcome to the Daily Blend. Good morning. Okay, so Mary, tell me what is When She Votes. I love the shirts, but I don't know much about the organization. Okay, let me just tell you how this came about. Uh, you know, they did the March on Washington in 23. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Uh, 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 William Barber, uh, I served on the NSP National Board of Directors with him and know he is fantastic, okay? Mm -hmm. And he's with they had face voices. Um, and as I was watching the march on, on, on Washington, uh, came up Dr. Barber with 10 women. And he announced that those 10 women was going to speak for two minutes each on a topic that he had given them. 
uh, based on the fact that we had nine million more African American women had voted in the in the past election, wow. and that we that that we had so much to give, and he wanted to give them the opportunity to explain themselves. I went to Janet Thompson and t and told her uh, uh, about my idea, and she said, "Oh, that is excellent. Let me call Brianna." Leonard, mm -hmm. and then we called we Marilyn. We gave Marilyn's name right there at first as a person that we wanted on board right up front, and so we just started collecting women. I love that, and I, I believe that. Marilyn, if I remember correctly, at our first meeting, we I think we had twenty two women at that first meeting, uh, and we got just a, a good number of people, and uh, so we this this uh, and in fact, Janet. Thompson, I think, was the one that came up with the name when, when, she when we talked about when mm -hmm. she votes. I love uh -huh. that. And so when she votes has its kickoff event coming up on the 24th. Tell us about that, Marilyn. Yeah. The, well, our group got together and we thought we want to share this great information. Mm -hmm. We want to encourage people to register to vote. Uh, to be informed voters, yes. and then certainly to get out the vote. And that's kind of the inspiration for this whole when she votes idea. Right. So on Saturday, February 24th at 10 at the Boone County Electric Building, which is on Range Line Street, uh, we will have a free public event where we will have 10 women speakers on all the different topics that uh, are so important and that everyone's vote really matters. And that's really the message we want to convey. It will be an opportunity for people to network, uh, you know, just to learn about these different topics and how voting makes a difference. So a lot of people think, oh, I'll vote in the presidential election. Yes. Mm -hmm. But really, every election is important, and especially even local elections are really important. Local they, elections are yeah. very important. Yeah. Very important. I really appreciate you all bringing this coalition of women together to keep us informed so that we know what's going on and so we know the importance of getting out to vote. Will you have shirts available before we go at the event? We, uh, I have some extra ones. Of, I got a few extra ones. Okay, well, bring of, one for me. Okay. okay. Bring, I'll, 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 bring I'll, one for I'll, me. I have to make sure I've, to, I've, got, yes. I've got my Valerie Scott and my friend. Thank you and, guys um, for joining so, us. We will talk to you next time.